In this video we're given a curve with an equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3 and there's a point on that line coordinate a with an x coordinate of 4 and we're asked to find the equation of the normal at a. Now the normal line is the line which shoots out at right angles to the tangent to the curve. So, to find the equation of this line, we resort to the general equation of a line. And we must find a coordinate on that line, and also the gradient of that line. Right, we know that A is a coordinate on the line, and we know that at this point x equals 4. So to find the coordinate, we have to put x equals 4 into the y equation. So y will equal 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 3, which equals 3. So this coordinate is 4, 3. So we therefore have a known coordinate, x1 and y1, on the line. But we're still missing the gradient. Now to find the gradient, we can begin by differentiating the equation of the curve. So dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 4 plus 0. So at x equals 4, dy by dx is equal to 2 times 4, take away 4, which equals 4. So the curve and therefore a tangent has the gradient of 4. But our line is a normal. So the normal will have the gradient of 1 over 4 with the sign changed. That rule comes from the fact that when two lines are perpendicular, i.e. a tangent and a normal, then to find the gradient we reciprocate, i.e. 1 over, and change the sign. So therefore m equals minus 1 over 4. So I know a coordinate and also the gradient. So I can sub these values into the general equation of the line to get y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. If I times by 4, 4y minus 12 equals minus 1x minus 4. I can expand the bracket on the right hand side to get minus x plus 4. I can then add the 12, so 4y equals minus x plus 16. I will leave it in that form, though you could divide by 4 if you wished. So we found the equation of the normal at point A. I'm then asked to show that if I carry this line along, 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 then it will intersect the x-axis at the value of x equals 16. Now the x-axis is where y equals 0. There's no y-coordinate. So if I let y equal to 0 here, I get 0 equals minus x plus 16. If I rearrange this, this tells me that x equals 16. So this line intersects the x-axis at the value x equals 16, as required.